to talk about that and the rest of the day's business news is Vidak Radonjic. He is the founder and managing partner of Barrel Consulting Group. Vidak, thanks for being here. Good evening, Derek. You know, let's talk about this trying to trade negotiations. You know, all eyes are on it. The markets seem to be hanging on every move. Can a deal be reached? I think, uh, well, the deadline is March, uh, March 1st, right. in, in a few days, and uh, we had this sanction, you know, mm -hmm. tariff uh, increase of 10% for uh, seven months, and they might go to 25%, but uh, President Trump did say that this is a magic num uh, date, right. March 1st, so he might extend it. Uh, right now, they're talking about, they, they have, like, I believe, uh, seven or so memorandum of understandings, mm -hmm. and I'm a use. Uh, they are working on it. They're texting each other. Sure. Uh, they were. They spent some time in Beijing. Now they are in Washington D.C. I guess at both, both delegations. So they're working frantically to come up with something before this so-called deadline. But right. this this could be also extended. So if if there is a deal, if if the two sides are able to come together, it would be maybe the end or lessening of this trade war. Um, well, co cosmetically speaking, right? right? Uh, they they have incentives on both sides to to do something with it. Mm -hmm. However, I, I believe that this is a bipartisan issue. This is not only Democrats and and, and Republicans. It's, you know, it's really kind of like bipartisan issue. Sure. So they really want to come up with something that will make sense in the long in the long run. You know, despite an update on uh, up day on Wall Street yesterday, I mean, today we saw, you know, the markets just really down, dramatic losses, ending streaks of eight days or more. You know, this slowdown, is it here to stay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we had amazing, tremendous uh, run uh, since the, the, the loss that we had. Right. So in, only in January we up uh, 10 percent, mm -hmm. which is really, you know, kind of one of the records that we ever had. Uh, year year to date, right? Sure. So we only uh, uh, almost like not even a, a month and a half, right? So we had 10% up, and uh, the fuel for for this run up is is kind of getting to the to, to, to the exhaustion point. Mm -hmm. So we do need to pause. Uh, we need to see where we're going. Uh, our I, I don't think there there's going to be more rate hikes. That could be even preemptive uh, rate cut. Oh, sometimes, really? which really no one really talks about. Sure. But if we um, continue having data that our data-driven uh, Fed is, you know, the Fed calls themselves data-driven. If we see uh, the the, uh, the economy getting down and down, down, and we're getting all this bad data, right. uh, we might even have a preemptive uh, 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 strike uh, right. and one quarter notch down. So right. that would be that would be a shock to the market, right? Lowering interest rates would definitely yes. help, and it yeah. would it would help sort of I guess erase the losses that we saw at the end of last year, right? Pretty dramatic losses. Uh, yeah, I mean we had a V-shape uh, recovery, right? Mm -hmm. So we 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 recovered a, a lot from from last year. We didn't recover to to you know all all of the losses from the high right. that was registered in September, but uh, there is still. I, I would say, uh, if I was, if I was, you know, if to, to, to the investors that we're working with, right, where should uh, they I put their money? I well, they need, to, they should be putting money in, into into those vehicles. Maybe you know some hedge funds mm -hmm. who know what they're doing, who have done you know, their research, and who are not only um, who are not only dependent on on a so-called structured data, public data, right. but they are also able to utilize so-called alternative data so they can squeeze alpha and extract alpha in, in a much more meaningful way. So what you're talking about really is, is strategy and management, investment strategy, investment management. That seems to be the, the way to get around this, right? Uh, the way to get a, around in terms of how to make money in this right. market sure. is to maybe maybe sit in bonds. Uh, bonds, I think, more more safe place to be. Really, uh, st I think stocks have gone up quite a bit already, 10% year to date. So uh -huh. I would be very cautious here. Oh. Good advice. Def definitely. We'll see what happens, though. All right. Uh, Vidak Radonjic, thanks for being here on Clear Cut, and we'll talk to you another time soon. Thank you, Derek. All right.